Hello, I'm Gananya. First time modeling. <laughs> so yeah. it's a bit uh, exciting. Yes, yeah. it is. I inv invited you by the Fiat Days Walk, Nijmegen. Yes. yes, you were passing by. Yeah. And I was with, sitting with my mom. And uh, you, you, you were really kind and said like, hey, I want you for uh, to model for me. To model, and I was like, okay, yes, let's give it a try. Okay. Will you turn around so they can see how your current hairstyle is? Of course. I have a lot of hair. I've got a lot of hair. Like, yeah. I think a lot of people love this hairstyle. Yes. What yeah. you have now. What I have now, I got yeah. a lot of compliments. Yeah, but you want the more power on. Yes, because I've got a lot of hair, so. Yeah. That's why this um, hair on the front is going like this. To hang down, yeah. And then it looks a little bit messy. Yeah. So I was really happy that you just asked me to model. To model. Okay. And I was like, yes, surprise me. Yeah, <laughs> let's start on you. Let's start. <laughs> Hello, friends on YouTube. Cut myself in the model. Now, as always, I start with protection. It's the first time I'm going to touch your hair because I never had a hand in her hair, but I saw her sitting uh, on the side of the road and I thought she has to model me. <laughs> there was so much energy coming from her, so I need to ask her and thank God she's here. Color wet hair, see what's going on in her hair. I find the curl wel heel leuk die is. Super wijs. Die vind ik echt gaaf. Hij zit ook nooit zo goed. Dat nee, maar dat vind ik juist ook wel heel, heel stuur. Hij heeft gewoon een eigen wil. Ja. <laughs> Talking about the hair in Dutch, because we are in the Netherlands, so we talk Dutch to each other. Now she has a lot of weight, so I can see this. I see the problem. But I really like this front because it's wavy and it's a bit curly, so mm -hmm. I really like that. I'm gonna sharpen the lines a lot. I'm gonna light up the color a bit, not too much. Let's start the easy way. When I first comb my hair to see what I can do with it. She has lovely ears, and you know by now that I have an ear fetish. So I really like her ears. She has beautiful small ears. Yeah? Very small. <laughs> Gonna work at the fall of the skull, part the line, till the center line on the back, clip this away. So this is my look, first parking line. Gonna start on this. Now starting on the sides, go in on the fall of the hairs and using all the lines of a natural fall. Dus dat mag we gewoon kletsen. Hè? Oh. Hoeft niet stil te zijn. Echt niet? Nee. Als ik iets wil zeggen, vind ik de weg wel. Oké. Okay. Het is juist een leuk als we gewoon kunnen kletsen. Lekker. Doe de scissor over kom, because I don't want ultra hard lines. I want to keep the softness of the lines. To hold them more feminine than with the clipper. But I want to also show you the structures of a beautiful skull. Mm. Sounds good. These kappers die gaan dan gelijk met een uh, zo'n gemillimetende. Uh, nee, dat gaan we niet doen. Ding. Maar waarom, waarom doe je dat dan niet? Uh, omdat ik dat niet mooi vind. Ah. Ik vind, ik vind, ik wil een zachte lijn hebben. Dus ik kan jouw lijnen gewoon uh, oppakken. Ja. Yeah. En veel meer met de schaar kan ik veel zachtere lijnen zetten. Oké. Okay. Ik vind het niet zo mooi als je dat met een tondeusje meteen doet. Hmm. Wist ik niet. Maar dat heb je wel. En tondeusje, ja, tondeusje is natuurlijk heel makkelijk en snel. Ja. Yeah. In the meantime, we talk uh, about hairstyles and the way uh, to do things. Now, we talked about uh, scissor of comb techniques because most hairdressers start with a clipper. Now, I don't like that because I like the softness of a beautiful. Uh, face lines, so I want also to keep the softness of this beautiful face lines and then I'm going for a scissor over comb technique so I get more um, character into the lines I cut 
than what I would do this with a clipper. Yes, indeed. Yeah, <laughs> it's the cover art for you. <laughs> See how funny it is, she has the beautiful small ears. That's the fun of being a small little woman. Yeah. Small hands, small ears, small nose. Thank God. <laughs> would be wonderful if everybody in the world would be small. Yeah. For example, a meter or something. Yeah. The world would be much larger. We have less influence yeah. on the world. Well, funny, less pollution. Yeah, well, well there is a funny thought. like. Like people starting to grow so, like, especially big. in the Netherlands. Especially in the Netherlands, yeah. and I'm I'm wondering like, there is a certain point that we need to build like bigger doors. I don't know. Bigger cars. Bigger big, cars. Yeah. Yes. Nice big bed. Otherwise your feet hang out. <laughs> yes. You get cold feet in the night. Yeah, we not. <laughs> no, we not. I'm a, a one sef seventy. Well, seventy, yes. So uh, it's not a problem with the bed. No, 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 never. <laughs> no. And as a hairdresser, I also have no problem because I can do all the things standing without bending, bending to the front. Up. Yes, yes. <laughs> you see me looking for the lines. Pushing with my comb against the hairfall, so this way I get the hair straight in my comb and I can cut them the way I like them to be cut. I'm going to use also the rounding of the skull on the back because I want to give more volume on top, but that with less hair. Now on the hairs I saw also a beautiful, exciting neckline. <laughs> can do something creative with that. Yeah, and there's someone who wants to cut it. Yeah, fine. So fine. Yeah. I softly move over to the neckline. And I work till I get on the center because they are parted, of course. Make sure on the fall of the skull, I go down. Ja, at least can I go from above, actually, like on a muur to sit on the cell. That's really cool. We're going to do it in the summer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll speak again. That's really cool. Do you know what it's nice to do in Rotterdam? En dan bij de Erasmusbrug aan de overkant, dan kun je op die pionnen zitten waar de boten aan leggen. Ja. En dan met Rotterdam als skyline en dan gewoon iemand knippen. Oh, wat grappig, ja. En het zou dan helemaal leuk zijn als iemand gewoon spontaan aansluit. Met ja, ik neem de dokter ook mee dan om te filmen. Oh ja. Want daar hebben we dan echt iemand nodig om te filmen. Ja, ja, ja. Leuk uitje ook. Ja, zeker. <laughs> lekker, lekker naar Rotterdam. Rotje knaar. Ja, ja. rotje knaar, ja. <laughs> So now I can show you the difference between the right side and the left side. I only have to do the underlines with that and do with an ultra fine comb. So now you see the difference of the hairs. So you see how much hair she has and how less <laughs> <laughs> on the right side. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, yeah. yeah. So now I cover it again, so I can make a disconnect of course, then she has already less hair, but I, well, I will make a bit disconnect, but not this long, because this is too much, but I can work in fine lines on top, but that's a do with uh, the hot tools, because then I really like to pre prevent the hairs from splitting. So now I go to the other side, parting again the line, clipping the hairs aside. I have a free way to go. Starting again at the front, lifting up, finding the lines of cutting. First take roughly a line to the back. So I have a guideline to work on and less hair to work with.
Okay. So I give myself a baseline to work on. Then I come to the part where I connect to the back. And now I travel back. Ik heb een klein stukje heel dichtbij en zoom is ook wel leuk om te zien. Ja, nee. Het, het gaat vooral om de hoogteverschillen dichtbij en ver weg. Oh. Snap je de afstanden die je maakt? Lekker dit op de andere kant. Want ik kom uit de roundings en kan ik pull de hairs to the front. So they stand up more straight. So to make a better cut. De meeste moeite heb ik hier altijd met weinig geluid. Als je normaal in de zaak werkt, heb je lekker muziek. Maar dat mag allemaal niet. Mm -hmm. En dat is ook heel lastig knippen als je, in de film dan. Dan heb je iedere keer stukjes muziek. Ja, ja. Dus dat zou ook niet kunnen. Mm. Of je moet een voice over gaan doen, maar dat vind ik niks. Oh nee, maar dan moet, als je het niks vindt, dan moet je het ook niet doen. Nee. Nee, maar dat vind ik jammer, want is alle uh, originaliteit is weg. Weet je, de, de sounds worden minder mooi. Finding the beautiful roundings again. So while I'm cutting, I'm bending. And this way I give graduation to the hairs, even though they are short. Ik really like them when they flow. Ik de fine part of my comb. Create nice sideburns. And the contour line I can do of course with a small clipper. Okay, can you see? Yeah, got Facial lines cleaning. Get a good small ears. Je bent echt prachtig hoor. Nou, I can feel like there's more air in to my ears. Like I'm really enjoying with the this haircut now. It's yes. short, yes. The freshness of short hair yeah, is wonderful. Yeah, yeah, it's like uh, it's not that warm, like around my ears. Yeah, and yeah, you have like... a lot of weight in your hair. So I'm really glad. <laughs> For, uh... But it feels so much hey, nice. Hey, can I feel it? Too? Yeah, of course you can feel it. Ooh. Haha. -ha. Sexy smooth. Sexy smooth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Holy moly. Holy moly. Holy moly. How holy is moly? How holy, yes. Okay, we never ends and done it, come on. Take my fine clipper, take a smaller comb. Don't get rid of the lines, I just beautifully cut in my sister over comb techniques. 
to make sure everything stays the way it is. Bending the ear to the front, go on the tip of my clipper and circle around the ear. Go into the neckline. Take the hands both ways. So all to the inside, but also to the outside. Clean the contour line. And for customers with uh, a lot of hair, like the neckline, they can come into my salon mostly at six o'clock. I do this for free, clean this in between, so they don't have to ask friends or other members of the family. <laughs> I don't understand what cutting is. <laughs> Make nice soft lines. This gives us also a more feminine feeling. <laughs> Target on the neckline, holding this beautiful bass line. Of course, if she has this hair growing back, she can also come in <laughs> to let me do this. <laughs> so it's not only this side, it's also that side. <laughs> oh, I thought it was just for one side. Yeah, oh, of course. <laughs> this one day, that the other day, so yes. you can see you more often. Yes, yes. <laughs> Take up her aside for a second. Down to the other lines. Yeah, that's all I said, eh? You see that here? I'll yeah. find the clone. Cool. Also, this ear can bend to the front. This knee, eh? <laughs> Lastig, eh? Yeah, nee, mooi. Eh? Oh. <laughs> Ik zei net, ik heb iets met ogen, dus ik heb niks steken ogen. Clean the control line. Don't force anything on the skin. It's more, yeah, it's more easy to remain good hairstyles when you have a color in your hair. Okay. Because products stick on the hair much easier than on natural hair. Mm -hmm. So that's why the color is always wonderful to have. Mm -hmm. And otherwise you have, so when you were young, always the same photos of yourself. Yeah, that's true. And it's really lovely to do anything you can when you're young. Okay. You're only a young once. Okay, I will think about it. Uh -huh. Yeah. Dat is goed met het overhalen hoor. Dat uh... komt goed. <laughs> Clean this in between. En dan ik jou die appen gaan. Mm. Lekker hè? Lekker. Oh. oh ja. Lekker hè? Heerlijk. Ja. Ik ben niet mee. Ik heb een thermische mes uh, in orde maken. Mm. Kijk wat de dingen aan. Ik ben hem soms kwijt. Die is van dat. Het enige waar ik met, met platen doe, dus dit haar, ja. is dat ik anders te bleek word. Da ja. Daar zit ik mee. Maar als jij denkt. Ik denk dat dat niet is. Dat weet ik bijna zeker. Maar weet je, ik, ik, 
Dat kan altijd nog TV. We kunnen nu gewoon een mooie, een mooie kleur gaan en dan een mooie blond. En dan heb je toch ook een super gave kleur. En we kunnen de onderkleur gewoon laten wat die is, want dat is je eigen kleur. Dus dan heb je ook niet gelijk als je een uitgroei hebt, een rare uitgroei. Ja. Dus dat is ook gelijk een stuk makkelijker. Oké. Okay. Ja, dat is lijkt me wel wat. Dat vind ik ook wel een goed idee. Coming to the up hair. Parting a bit. Can't find me a line to the back. Working a little bit with the disconnect. So I work this out because the fall is to the front. From the back to the front. Starting in the back. <coughs> Going in. And gently work to the front. Soften the lines. Watch at the lines of the eyebrow, of the chin. To so use the roundings of the natural shapes. Using the hot razor of Ergo, this is a tool that I can work very nicely with. Doesn't damage the hair at all. Gentle to the hairs, never get split ends. And to the back, I go over the rounding I just cut. Every time, peeling off a little bit of the hairs, finding the right shape. It's just like working with clay. The only difference is I cannot give things back on it. When I have clay, I could give back, but now I cannot. When it's off, it's off. But I really like the tool. Coming at the rounding, take the hairs to the front. Go into the rounding, go on the line of cutting, and gently go to the back. So this way I give also a bit of graduation. This you can very easy throw to the back and have a beautiful short hairstyle. And the nice thing of this tool is you don't have to use force to get through the hairs. Just like uh, melting butter. You want to hear, hear a funny story? Yeah. Uh, I had short hair yeah. and I went to one uh, copper, like hairdresser. hairdresser in my hometown. Yeah. And she had like those uh, cutting scissors, yeah. but not this one, but like the old fashioned one. Yeah. And she cut herself a couple times and also cut in my ear and I was okay. like super shocked and I was very kind like, it's okay, are you okay? <laughs> and she was, yes, I'm fine, I got a, a plaster to cover it and do you want one? <laughs> so, it was, uh, I don't like those old fashioned... Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> I, do, I, I like the old fashioned one but they damage my hair a lot. Oh, okay, okay. And damage also a ear. I'm yeah. not Vincent from... Uh, no, but when you would do this with this tool, it's 190 degrees Celsius. You yeah. <laughs> shout like hell. Yeah. Burn it! Fire! Yeah. Fire in the air! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, this girl is on fire. <laughs> this girl's on fire. Yeah, my hair is on fire. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> That was a one-time experience <laughs> with that cutting the yeah. hair and things. Coming on the roundness of the back. First, I go a little bit over the center line, so I have a rounding to work in. And I cut the upper hair a bit in the disconnect. So I have a shorter side and a longer side. Show you that in a second. Parting 
about two centimeters above the fall of the longer part, setting the hairs aside, coming over the center line, washing at the sides, and then I'm going to decide how long the length will be on the longer parts. Have to work with the hairs, so I take them into the natural folds. And she has real strong hair, so I have to listen to what the hairs tell me, because they go their own way. <laughs> Using a flat knife to thin out also a bit. So take a little bit away of the weight on top. So it would be much more pleasure to wear this. But also more comfortable to get it in another style if you like to. The less weight you have, the easier you can play with hairs. Coming into the roundings, pulling my knife flat. So don't make a hard line because I don't like it to be a hard line. Thinning out with the flat knife and then adjusting on the length. Clean the knife in between. And now I come to the facial lines again. So I copy the chin line into the line to the front. She didn't like the weight on the front, so there I have to take care of also. She has only a small skull, so when there's a lot of hair hanging down. <laughs> Feels like curtain. <laughs> See how wonderful soft the lines are. Free the clip. And now you can see the weight of the hairs because she has really a lot of hair. So first take it on the line of cutting. Then coming to the front, holding some length, get rid of some weight. Get a measure. Take the hairs up and give them the rounding that you want. So guide them into the lines. Coming to the top, lifting up, take it over, chopping. When you work with a hot tool, you have to be aware that the hair must be a little bit moist, otherwise you burn your thumb. running of the skull, find my connection lines, and travel with the running to the other side. 
When I come at the center line, I lift hairs over to the center. So I'm certain that I have the same fall into the hairs. Wetting the front. Turn the hairs to the shoulder side. Also connect this line. So I take the hairs on the line, take them on the line. And then gently go to the front. All the dry ends are also gone now. Travel over the same line back. Now I have a lot of shorter hair, but also a lot of more, less weight. Now to make it more comfortable to wear this hair, I take the hairs to the opposite lines. And then I go in with a slicing scissor. and lay some deep slicing on the skull lines. So this creates a lot of air between the hairs. takes a lot of the weight off. Therefore you need a, a real sharp scissor of course. Otherwise you pull her out of the chair. It's not what we like. Yeah. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> 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 so this makes it also possible to wear that to the front. It's 8 o'clock, so I'll wait for the clock. We're gonna wait. Cook, 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 cook. Luckily you don't have that one. No. Then you get reminded as your cook cook. I would be a wonderful <laughs> cook cook. A good cook. My granny had a cook cook. <laughs> well, then you're granny. And when she went, went all, she uh, she was cuckook. And she was cuckook. Well, it makes a lot of sense, people with the cuckoo clock. Yeah. <laughs> Just playing with the hairs a bit. to bring the thickness and balance. So now she can even wear it to the front if she likes to because there's no curtain hanging down. Oh nice. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Let's make her a collar. Get it even met je haar spelen. Oh, lekker. Ja. Voelt het lekker? Lekker. Ja, het voelt goed. Ik vind het altijd de achterkantje, dat je, dat je niet zo'n kippenkontje hebt. Nee. <laughs> Heb je wel iedere ochtend een vers eitje? Ja, daarom. Nee, lekker. Leuk. Oké, okay, meter kolos. Meter uh, thin, uh, 32, I believe. With 9%, well, I'll show you a photo of the product into the video. This is used only on the top hair. The under hairs will stay in their natural color. So when she has an outgrowth, it, yeah, it fits. This is a Kim color, so it's uh, totally uh, gentle to the hair. There's nothing uh, rough on it. And because I work with 30 volume, I light it up a little bit. 
and it's a yeah, beige blonde, a bit sandy color. I think of this color is that it doesn't smell. It's really nice. Yeah. Also soft. It smells a bit creamy. It has a nice smell. Yeah. Yeah. I can't say flowers, but no. it's nice. Yeah. <laughs> It's not a, a tough thing. No, no. Now to be sure, the, hair, the line stays the way it is. And a cardinal wig around the head. <laughs> a little angel she no, is. No, more like uh, eye of the tiger. <laughs> I lay the hairs on this. <laughs> can already see the hair is a little bit lighting up. Exciting. <laughs> <laughs> this is how the hairs look now. So now I can lay this in the natural lines. I lay a bleach. I made a bleach with uh, six percent. That's twenty volume. It's just a, a violet bleach. And lay in a freehand style on the hairs, just on top, some blonde colors. This will give it a special effect and a more playful effect. The more I go to the back, the less I put on. Also the hairs will be protected for bleach by the collar. Because the collar will certainly uh, take care of the bleach and don't dry it out. Then on top of this, I take other card wick. Play small lines and then I close my plastic for in a week over for a coffee and tea. And you just stay there because we're back in less than a second. <laughs> I look like a Christmas tree right now. I really love Christmas. Yeah, you, you can put like some the lights on it. It's a wonderful <laughs> time <laughs> of the year. Bing bong. Da, 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 da. Oh, now, now it's different. Now it's a different kind of. Yeah, other Christmas. <laughs> You have to wait for a half year till it's Christmas. Yeah. No, not half year. Um, uh, four a few, months. Yeah, a few months. Yeah, four months. Oh my, time flies. So don't go away, we'll be back. Bye. <laughs> We're back from coloring. Hello. <laughs> now, she has uh, strong hair, so I take a, a product that makes it a little bit softer, so mm -hmm. I can move it around a bit. It's a smooth aflanza. It's a real nice product, it smells always really nice. Apply it on the hairs. Mm. It can be activated by the heat of the blow dryer. But I will make this hairstyle playable. So she can, because I, I, I saw her moving her hair around, she loves to play with the hairs. Yes. So she wants to get in with the hands and play with this. Do it! So I'm going to use only my fingers to go dry the hair. And here the fuse actually goes. Do you know? Nee, maar ik denk dat het zelf al gaat doen. Hmm? Je moet wel een keer op zoek doen naar haar Oh, heel makkelijk. Gewoon lekker met handen bewegen. Je hoeft er niks voor te doen. Nou ja, welk product er dan maar. Nou, oh, oh, ja, maar niet veel. Voor zo vaak blowdrying? Hmm. Voel je aardvoet. Voel je lekker. Oh, it's, it's soft. Ja. Yeah. And I do see the lines here, yes. It's so different. Oh mm -hmm. my god. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Hmm. Nice. Yeah, it's too. Yeah. Now I take two products. I take a spider of glint and I take crystal turn. It's a product of Goldwell KMS in the States. One half pump of the Goldwell product. And one 
part of the spider. When you take the spider alone, it kind of flexible has style, but it's a bit sticky, so I don't like that. So I mix them together, and I mix them all over my hands. So I have a rest over product on the top, and I never use my inner hands. So I always use only my fingers. So I have it totally away, so you can see this, and then I'm gonna play with the hairs. This brings out the strongness, the power of a hair. Go back. It gives also a nice shine to the hairs. Mm -hmm. I think this beautiful hairstyle, especially also for the summertime. Strong in the sides a bit, it just put a little bit over the sides. And see how wonderful the natural color is together with the new color. Cleaning everything, take away the cape. I thank her for being my model. I thank you for watching. We see each other next video. Bye bye. Bye bye. You may turn around to show the entrance of my love. Mm. I like it. I like it a lot. Mm hmm. <laughs> yeah. Well, <Buena>. yes. <laughs> Hair. Like, yeah. I think a lot of people love this hairstyle. Yes. What yeah. you have now. What I have now, I got yeah. a lot of compliments. Yeah, but you want the more power on. Yes, because I've got a lot of hair, so yeah. that's why this um, hair on the front is going like this. To hang down, yeah. And then it looks a little bit messy. Yeah. So I was really happy that you just asked me to model. To model.